No doubt that the ultrasonic sensor is one of the most useful sensors for FLL, but it has more than one use. Most teams just use it for detecting how far away they are from a wall and then stopping accordingly. However, I'm going to show you today how to make a wall follower, something that will blow your mind. Make a new variable, and this variable is going to be named distance or anything like that, can, anything descriptive. This is going to be the distance that we want the ultrasonic sensor to stay away from the wall at. You can set this to as high or as low as you want. Don't set it to be too low because otherwise it'll lose a bit of accuracy. I find my perfect distance to be around five inches. We'll change it to be inches or centimeters later in the program. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is set our movement speed. I find the ideal movement speed to be something around 30. If you need your robot to go faster, by all means make it faster. It's just that a slower speed is typically more accurate. Then we're gonna have to set our movement motors. Mine are C and D. You use whatever you use. Then we're gonna have to go to control and grab a loop. I'm gonna use a forever loop just for demonstration, but for practical use, you're gonna to wanna to use a repeat until loop with whatever case you want it to stop at. Then we're gonna to have to go to sensors and grab a ultrasonic sensor distance in percentages, centimeters, or inches block. We're gonna to wanna to use, or I'm gonna to wanna to use inches. If you use, wanna use centimeters, feel free to. It's your option. Then we're gonna to have to go to operators and grab a minus block. We're gonna plug this into the first thing of the minus block. Then we're gonna to have to go grab our variable distance. Then we're gonna go back to operators and get a times block. If you want your robot to follow the left, or on, if you want your robot to be following on the left side of a wall, you have no need to use this. But if you want your robot to be following on the right side of the wall, then you will need to have this, and you want to have it set to the second um, bubble to at negative one, so it just flips the values, otherwise it'll go crazy. I'm not going to be using that, so I'm just going to put one in, just for a placeholder. Then we're going to want to grab another times block, and this is where things get fun, because you're going to have to fiddle around with this, this last number. Um, with this number, you um, a lower value makes it smoother, and a higher value makes it more likely to correct when it sees um, a difference in the wall or something. Now, I tested it with my robot, and I found that 6 was a good value. You're going to have to have some fun and test it with your own robot. But um, then we're going to have to grab a start moving block and uh, at right 30, and we're going to put this in instead. So that's the entire program. It's really short, it's a fairly simple program, and it works really well. Here it is.